I've been talking, my microphone's been off, so do y'all see my mouth moving? <laughs> At least that didn't happen through the whole episode. That happens. I don't know how it happens. It's just sometimes my my audio goes out, or my microphone turns off. Either I do it or someone else does it, so. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put something on my screen saying, oh, he's stupid. He didn't notice his uh, microphone's off. So I might have had this entire intro and none of y'all would it. Let's see what you can do, Gabumon. Gabumon. Probably not a lot, but... Yeah, 72? No. Oh! <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's gonna hurt! No, it did one point. Yeah, I just happened to look down to see my audio wasn't even coming through. I'm like, oh, crap. I was thinking I was going to have to redo the entire episode. It's like, oh, computer's not picking up my microphone. Well, it is! Just not enough of it. Thank God he's dead. See, they might be high levels, but they're weak against these two. And eventually, Gobumon, once he digivolves... I cut him out. Let's see that. Nah! Gabumon, finish him! To Doomida! If y'all have never watched Duel Masters, that's what they say when they end a duel. Basically, final attack. Oh, that's, that's a nice amount there. 47. Gabumon! So basically, we're looking for 8 Mon. There he is. I never did farm for Agumon. I need to do that. So I can have uh, a Greymon and uh, Monochromon. I would love to have a Greymon on this team. On my other game, I have a Rise Greymon. I would rather have a Greymon on this one. Because War Greymon is by far my favorite Digimon. Yes, it's cliche, especially for people who know Digimon. Because he's one of the first, uh, what's it called, Mega Digimon. Him and uh, Metal, Gra uh, Metal Guru Ramon are the first ones that they encounter, or that the Tamers have. Go ahead and shave. I mean, save. Shave. 
So, yeah. Apologies for the first few minutes. Huh? Who are you? I'm busy. Um, do I have to fight you? So we have to go further down to get some beads, give to him to get the hair. If y'all see my eyes start messing up, it's just... They they get so watery these days, I can't do anything about it. When did I get Ice Blast? Level up! Oh yeah. And no, I don't read off everything because it doesn't come up like... Mother 3 does. And a list. Ugh. <laughs> a little sniffly too. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with me right now. I mean, I get twenty. Huh. So, funny story about me and Fable Three and Two. Fable 3, I'm a little bit obsessed with the loot game. I don't know what it is about it. It's just... If any of you have ever played Fable 3, y'all know what I'm talking about. The loot minigame is where you basically do button presses, three button presses, to, to a line of things. So it's basically like, think of Legend of Zelda where you have to do the songs. The, uh... Um, yeah, do, just do the songs. Basically... I've accumulated over 270,000 gold doing that. In the Bowerstone market, I have bought all but one shop, all but one of the shops, on one side. Yes, the first shop I bought was the freaking, uh, what you call it? Blacksmith. He was the first one I bought because I knew he'd give me a good amount of money. I don't have to play the loot game ever again because I'm gaining like four to five thousand dollars at a time. No, actually more than that because I bought a clothing shop too. I don't have to get money at all, and I get about six thousand dollars dollars gold at a time. But I continue to play it. I don't know why. And my character, my character's married, has a kid, and everything. And I always do this. I always get the hero, what's it, the hero armor or something like that. I get him a beard, and he has like long, like lion-like hair, not like different color. It's brown. But I look at it like my dude is like royalty looking, royal look, royalty looking. Yeah, whatever. But uh, basically, that whole thing was just. I spend way too much time playing that loot game, and I have it at level 5 mastery, which I think is the highest, and I was stuck on gold multiplier 3, or 10, for, oh lord, I don't know, 10, 20 times, and I was getting 3,000 gold after each one, so I got 30,000 just from being at multiplier of 10. 30,000 gold at a time is insane for me. Because when I... F I remember when I first played Fable 2. I did the blacksmith job for at least 3 hours before I had to go to work that night. Okay, I know... He's right here somewhere. These battles are ridiculous! But I do want to gr uh, argue on, so. But yeah. The blacksmithing job in the other one, you have to basically hit the ham. You have to hit the weapon at a certain point. So you have to bang, 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 bang. You have to hit it four times, and you get money. Well, I figured out there's a better one. There's a woodcutter job where each time you hit that one spot at the green zone, you get money. So I did that, and I gathered at once about 70,000 gold. Which takes a while, like an hour and a half. I did that for an hour and a half straight. <laughs> and I bought the blacksmith at Bowerstone, the Bowerstone Market. I probably have played the jobs more than I played the actual combat. Which is sad to say that, but 
you know, if you can find some kind of enjoyment somewhere, you know, why not? Okay, this is taking a while, so I'm going to start skipping battles. Unless there's an Agumon in it. So, let's go with that. If there's an Agumon in the fight, then I'll do it. Or Koromon, doesn't matter. Because I do believe Koromon digivolves into him. Um, let's go ahead and attack both. Yeah. Um, when it comes to needing gold in games, which in that game you don't need gold at all. In all actuality, after the first part that you are required to get gold, you do not need gold ever again. Except near the end of the game. I'm not even gonna bother attacking her. I'll just attack, attack him. But yeah, I've accumulated, like I said, 270,000 gold in that one game, one mini game. That's terrible for me. To, I mean, I like the gameplay of the game. The story is, the story's good until the last part. Then it's like, you know what? And Bud, Bud was the first one to turn me against the game because he's telling the truth. The story is ridiculous. It's like, right at the end of the game, you have to choose. I'm going to go ahead and spoil it. If you don't want to hear it, skip ahead. I'm not giving you a specific time because I don't. But basically... If you you get to the end of the game and you become the king, then you have to make certain decisions. There's two decisions you have to make. Either sacrifice the town, but everyone survives, but they hate you, or don't sac or do sacrifice the town. A lot of people die, but they love you. Now it's not specifically sacrifice the town. It's more like, what? Uh, I, f I forget specifically what it was, but it's something like that. It's like everyone's going to hate you for one choice, but they stay alive. Or, no, every, nobody hates you, but everyone's almost dead. Alright, now he can digivolve. Devimon. So I guess he did evolution. Yay! Bum, 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 bum. He has long ass arms. He can reach his toes without bending over. So, I'm gonna name him Devimon, of course. Like I said, I don't do nicknames with this game. It may be nice if I could, but I wouldn't have anyone to name him that. Devimon. Hey, it's Devi. <laughs> Pokemon try joke. Go ahead and do this. Even though his his stats are still pretty low, but he can do some good in the team. Okay. So I've gone that way. Let's go go up here. Or did I come up there? I came from up there. I think so. I did it, Nuda. No, I did. Okay. There he is. Oh damn! Uh Akuma. But yeah, if if you ever, any of y'all have a story like that where you basically spent so much time with a mini game or a side quest or something like that to just accumulate money that you may not even use, or you spend it on shops or something, comment below. Tell me tell me your story. I'll read them. I always read my comments. You know, some one video I stopped reading comments. It was for my uh, rant about the PS4s not being able to use a hard drive, external hard drive, which which I'm hearing these days they actually could. They actually can now. From what I've been told. Which is good, because I'm going to get one eventually. Touch of evil. I'm going to touch you. 83! Nah, he needs stat increases. So, here we go. So, his attacks just went up. His defense is terrible, though.
Hey, dude. You know those kind of quests in video games where you have to trade for something, to trade for something, to trade for something? That's just what this is turning into. You know what? This is going a little long, so no. Fine. Really, they probably have like 5 HP left. There's gnats flying right in front of my face. <laughs> Let's attack the one that I had not been attacking. So Demi Devimon, I thought it was coming Demimon. Devimon will finish them off. Doing 50 more than he did before, so. Double level up! See, his attack points are almost as high as Lekismon, and he's only level 7. See, I was right there at him, wasn't I? Yeah, I was right there. Hey, let me talk to you. Whoa! That music! The dude's rocking out! Well... Mind Reader! So... I didn't do anything. Yeah, the it's moving slow just because I guess the push to doing this. I hate that half my moves miss. He's speed increased, not his evasiveness. Okay, I guess it's the same thing. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, no! Bastard. I didn't anticipate him being this powerful. Don't do it again. <sighs> oh, oh God. He's going to beat me. He is. He's going to beat me. Don't do it again. These these guys are not going to help. I'm going to lose. And he gets to attack again! He just killed them all. That ain't fair. And the only people I can revive are on my current team, so... Jesus. I won't be able to survive, so I'm not even gonna bother. It's like, oh, run. Alright, finish him off, dude. Do it again. 
Really? You could have done your heavy metal move and beat both of them. Do it again. There's no sense in this. It's like, oh, he gets attacked four times, I get to attack once. Are you gonna kill me yet? Yeah, I know. Shut up, you stupid mouse. Or whatever you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As soon as Gobbermon digivolves, he's going in front. No joke. Hey, you're on my computer. No, he's not. <laughs> All right. We're gonna go ahead and put him on the farm. Now, if you look on the screen below me, you can see he's on the farm. The farm is live! Bum, 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 bum. Let's see. So we can get Coromon, so. It says balance, but his attack is 12 points higher than his defense. Yep, that's it. Roman, you're a part of the team now. And trust me, once I can get him to Digivolve in uh, Greymon, Debimon, or whoever's in the party that the time's gonna be gone. Um, I don't even have any money, do I? Let's go back to the plaza. We're gonna go back! Fight him again. Or attempt to fight him again. I think that was the right way, right? Yep, hang on. I'm gonna do myself a favor whenever I get there. You know what? Give me a little bit, I'm gonna train some of these guys up, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back just for a minute. I'm going to Digivolve Agumon. And yes, I do have a... Or not Agumon. Gagumon. I do have an Agumon now. But he, he's like a lot weaker. He needs a lot more uh, dragon stats. She has none. Alright. We're going to Digivolve him into Garurumon. Hopefully Garurumon helps a little bit better. Garurumon! Now I have to do Garuru. Mm. Garu. Garuru. M N. And his speed needs to be now a hundred and seventy. By the time he finishes the, uh, all that, so he has to be level thirty-five, which I think the max level is thirty-five. So basically, if he's not by that, by level 30, oh, let's go ahead and say by 35, then I have to digivolve him and digivolve him back up. So, all right, back to training, be back. And I'm back, did a lot of training. Everyone's almost a level 20. Well, they're 20, they're both 24. He's 19 with 808 HP. I gave him some equipment to make him even stronger. 
Agumon, I did digivolve him and digivolved him back because his stats was lo were low, like really, really low. Now he is he's pretty good so far, and I do have the appropriate stats to get him to a Greymon. So basically, eight more levels he'll digivolve. All right, let's battle him again. Again, let's hope all that training does some good. If not, doing it off screen, because I'm not doing this again. Eh, about 30 more damage compared to last time. But Garurumon should be able to do some good amount of damage. He's still doing a lot. Nah, he's doing about just the same as Lycus one. Yeah, I didn't anticipate this boss be or this mini boss being this powerful. Alright, full health again. Basically I'm gonna do it. Monochromon's gonna be the one that's gonna heal us. Because right now, his strongest attack isn't that powerful. Like, Garurumon outclasses him completely. See, I'm already halfway through his health. Yeah, Garurumon, he has, got, he has a lot of defense now. Y'all might say I, I overleveled because this dude kicked my ass last time. Now I'm already, like, a... He only has, like, a third of his health left. Yeah, basically that's what happened. I overtrained. I had a Koromon to Agumon, back to Koromon, and back to Agumon. Because I do overtrain sometimes, but this is appropriate because that dude whooped my ass. I didn't stand a chance. Now I do. And. Kotemon is level 25 and he's at max. Meaning he needs more machine type uh, experience in order to Digivolve. Yay, I win. And, um, Garurumon has 15 levels to go until he's at max. And he has to be at 150 speed. Now, Unless he only gets one for every single stat increase, he won't make it. But, if he gets two with only two level ups, because every stat increase is set for aptitude, he will get to it. And Agumon, yeah, he still has some low attack points, but he's only level 12. Well, he, he leveled up twice. Uh, Devimon still, uh, I don't know what's wrong with him. Can you give me that hair now? Are you fucking kidding me? I swear, if you make me battle him again, uh, I want to see uh, War Garurumon's stiff. 170. Sorry, I thought it was 150, so he may not make it. He has to get basically 2 plus for every level up. And 4,500 beast. That's a lot. Uh, only a thousand left. I fought a lot of beasts and stuff when I was doing the training. Alright. <sighs> Let's go to what's his name. But yeah, that, that sucks. That has to be 170. I don't know if I'll be able to do that. Because I already maxed him out on a certain point. I mean, it means I'm probably going to have to de-digivolve him. And he's already at high stats. That's probably the one thing that sucks about this game. Even though my dude has a lot of high stats, he still has to de digivolve. Alright, now we gotta go talk to Butthead again. Where are you? Where are you down here? This is also some men to deal with. But let me show you how powerful they are now. 
This would take about two hits. With a normal hit, Lekismon takes him out with one hit. One hit. Yes, I might have overpowered my characters, or my Digimon, but I don't care. Here's what a Light Tackle does. 471! That's with Critical. Without Critical, I think it's like 300 and something. Like a, ooh, a new move. I wonder what it is. What is it? Soulful Kick. Oh, wow. That does a lot of damage. Um, let's take out Shadow Gall. That's a pretty powerful strike. Don't tell me I have to fight you, too. You're an asshole, dude. Oh, it's just joking! I had to fight him for it! And Soulful Kick, I believe, is a machine-type move. Yes, I had many battles like this, where I had to fight all these dudes at once. I wanted to test out how powerful Soulful Kick is, but... I gotta take all these dudes out. It's a lot of dragon ones, which I need for uh, Metal Greymon. He needs like 3,600 dragons, which it's not till later until I face a lot of bad dragons, like big bad dragons. Oh, not a one hit. With um, Garurumon, he wasn't as powerful until now. Once his stat increases start happening, he got really, really strong. So, bank on it, me having to D-Digivolve him down. Just expect it to happen, because Wargarurumon will be a good addition to this team. Let's use Soulful Kick, see how powerful it is. Not bad. He survived, but it's not bad. And yes, everyone's doing one point of damage. It's kind of sickening to tell you the truth, you know, having to go through these little tiny battles, but I'm getting a good amount of experience. <laughs> his speed is almost as much as his attack. Could you imagine a Greymon being fast? It's a big ass dinosaur that moves slow. War Greymon, yes. Greymon, no. War Greymon is at least able to fly. Hey, what's up? Up. Uh, I saw my phone going off. I put it behind my desk for a reason. So y'all can't hear it. I think that... I think my microphone's barely picking up my air conditioner. Yeah, it's like 60, 70 degrees outside, but it's still like 80-some degrees in my room. So it's like... Uh, some people might be like, we'll just open a window. It'll mess up the lighting in here. Yay. I got it. Took fucking forever. Gate disc. Go! So, the training wise lasted about, I'd say about 30 minutes. No, probably 45 minutes. No joke, I trained for 45 minutes. With speed button on! With the speed button on! That's how long it took. Yay. I did it. Who was it I got it from? My Lotus Mon? My Otis Mon? My Lotus Mon? It doesn't matter. How much money do I get? Nice. Ooh, another double axe. Hey, Wargarurumon. Do you have another thing for us? Andromon. Let's see. Do you have anything? Digi-Deli Cake. Oh, I know this one. You know, I'm going to save this one for another episode. Next episode, we're going to go make the Digi-Deli Cake. So, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Peace.